Good afternoon, everyone. Let's go ahead and call the meeting uh, to order here for uh, uh, City of Erie Land Bank on June 19th. Uh, we do have a quorum. Uh, Mr. Scalise is online, so we do have a quorum for the meeting today. Um, so I'd jump right into it, would seek approval of the agenda and the minutes from the prior meeting. Motion to approve the agenda and the minutes and the entire consent agenda. I'll second that. Okay. And that's a second for Mr. Scalise. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Aye. Let's go ahead and do a quick review of the finance report from last month, April. Thank you. On the balance sheet as of May 31st, uh, we were showing $203,337.18 in our bank accounts uh, between the checking, the escrow, and the savings. On the profit and loss, it shows that we have net income for, of $39,520.14 as of the end of May. Major change. Any questions on the financials? Uh, none for me. Okay. Do you motion to approve? Okay, we have a motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Takes Aye. us to uh, citizens' comments. Anyone here today wishing to speak? Anybody online? Any comments, citizens comments? Hearing none, we will move to uh, updates from the executive director, Aaron. Uh, just some brief update, really. The uh, residential properties associated with our 23 work plan uh, declaration of taken was filed June 1st. And so now we're working through that process on those properties. And we'll continue to update the board and Gene will do as well with this list report. That's it for today. Very good. We are going to move right into uh, unfinished business and new business, and then we'll circle back to the solicitor. So uh, unfinished business, demo bids. All right. So in front of you is a list of seven properties that have been put out for demolition and the bids associated with those from and the winning bidder. Uh, and the amounts for the board to approve. Okay. I, I just had a quick question. I'm assuming that there were may, maybe multiple multiple bids that were received. These we're just seeing the bids that were the 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 preferred bidder. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Mo these all received multiple bids. Okay, great. Thank you. Is there a reason why we changed that up and only showed the one bid on here? Did we? Did I think we it was more in an effort to, to reduce the amount of paper and, as Ooh, opposed to okay. showing you all the bid tabs. The bid tabs are loaded on erielandbank.org and okay. available to the public. So they are available. So they Somebody are wants available. to see it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm okay with this as long there. as it's Same. Yeah, this was more for just keep it. Okay. Short and simple for the board. Okay, yeah, as long as it's available. Okay, I don't have any questions. I don't either. Then I would seek a motion to approve the uh, demo bids as presented. I'll make that motion. And I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed. Takes us to demo authorization. All right. So just kind of along the lines of, of the demo bids, you know, these several of these bids were received almost... 30 days ago, basically shortly thereafter the last board meeting. So, uh, and a couple of them being priority properties, you know, with, with the way our policy currently is, the board approves the bids and then we enter into a contract. So it was Mindy's suggestion that, that we create more of a, a resolution as long as we follow the policies and procedures, receive the bids as we would normally receive them, approve them, that we would have a board resolution to enter into a contract we would enter into the contract and then seek board approval or just acknowledgement of the bids post contract signing. I think it was just really the, the one key property being 1737 West 6th Street, you know, Empire has been on really wanting to get that one going. We really want to get that property moving, but we had to wait till today's meeting to get the approval before we entered the contract. So. 
Can I ask, and I should know, and I apologize, what are our policies and procedures with regard to that? So you say that you would follow them. What would that generally be, that we would take the lowest bidder? Just just summarize what yeah, that we would, would be. Yeah, we would generally... The, the policy and procedure doesn't even say that we have to take the lowest bidder. That's our typically what we do. The policy and procedure is very general. It just states that there will, we will seek board approval, but it, it's very general. Does it also say how many bids you have to receive? It does not. It doesn't. Okay. No, we, we typically, we, we post it to the website that the RFP or the, is out for demo bids. We solicit to the list of demolition contractors that are typically interested in bidding. And then on the due date, you know, we, we open them. Have we ever not approved your demolition? I mean, since I've been on the board, I can't remember ever saying no, we don't approve them. Can no. you remember in recent memory? No. Okay. And I think with, with this resolution, with the additional statement in there saying that um, should there be a question regarding a demolition activity, then we would postpone approving that contract until we brought it in front of the board prior to. But as Aaron stated, there's never, in my year here, there hasn't been anything that wasn't approved. Um, I'm inclined to support this, but I think we ought to have our full complement here. I don't think three of us should make the decision for the other. Does that make sense? That's I, fair. I, I, I don't That's think fair. we ought to be signing over the their full. dominion on this. <laughs> And I, and I want to think about it a little bit more, too. Maybe we need to have a, a cap in there, not to exceed a certain amount. Mm -hmm. But I would rather have the other members here and not have us approve that without them. Okay. okay. No, that's it. Yeah. Chuck, any, uh, any comments about that? or? Yeah, I would support that. I mean, having you know just a little bit of um, documentation, paper trail, I think would be helpful. Okay. All right. We'll revisit that next month. And sounds sounds good. Uh, developer proposals then, or any anything else on that? Sorry. No, good? that's it. Okay. Let's move to uh, developer proposals. So we had put 2716 Van Buren out for developer proposals. We did have multiple parties look at it. However, we did only get this one bid in. Um, the buyers unified properties. So this is actually the father of another developer who's actually purchased several of our properties and is working on them um, and moving them along nicely. Um, so his purchase price was the minimum offer of $8,000. Um, he did provide proof of funds. He's an outstanding citizen. There's no issues with past due taxes. He's local. He does not own any other blighted properties. He did provide a thorough plan, vision, and estimates to do the job. Um, so I personally don't have any issues with this developer and would recommend him for the purchase to develop this property. But I am open to any questions you might have. So we've worked directly with his We son. have not worked with him. We have worked with the with son the on son. two projects already and he's actually about to uh, take in a third one. Okay. Um, but this is the father so it is a different uh, party. Mindy, off the top of your head, you know how many people you showed this property to? I would say probably like six. Okay. Okay. Well, if you're not seeing any red flags and uh, he may No, and he's a contractor direct, and provided yeah. other projects that he's done. He just okay. hasn't done any for us yet. Okay. And I'm sorry, I should have I should have read the, the materials myself. Was there an estimate for what the cost of rehab will be here? He, uh, he provided, um, yeah, so the new sheet that curious. we did, they do a breakdown okay. of each of what they felt, and he provided all of that. Do you so. know what, it, I'm just curious what, what it was. What the total was, no. I don't remember. Okay, I'll go back and look. Thank you. Yeah. I don't have I don't any concerns with this. Okay. okay. Uh, any, uh, any comments, Mr. Scalise? I don't have any. I'm just reading her right now. I'm okay, sorry. I would, uh, I would seek a motion to approve the offer, development uh, offer for 2716 Van Buren. I'll make the motion for unified properties at 2716 Van Buren Avenue. Daria, to go back and answer your and question, he was right motion. around 20,000. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
And I think I heard a second, sure. so uh, yep, second. all in favor? Aye. That is correct. Aye. Aye. Opposed? And so that takes us to vacant lot proposals. And so before you jump in, Mindy, I think we're going to, for a couple of reasons, we're going to table this until next month. Correct. Uh, one of them is one of the bids, I believe, is a city employee, so I would want to abstain. Mm. Um, and I would just rather have our full complement or closer to that to look at both of these. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so, so we're tabling both? We're going to table the both yes. of them okay. until next time, yeah. And please let them know, though, that they will still be first in line if anybody else falls in between now and next month. And our apologies for that. but. Right. I think it's better we have all eyes on this. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. so a motion to the table. So then, uh, yeah, we would need a motion then. Are you okay? I'll make the motion to the okay. table, yep. And I'll second that motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, that'll be next month. Any other business? Uh, just solicitor report. Okay. Mr. Scalise, can you stay on? If not, we can let you go. I, I, I can hang in here. Okay. But it, if I dash, it means my plumber's looking for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's a, it's a real problem. <laughs> yep. Good afternoon. I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be short. Um, there were a number of properties that the land bank purchased um, as a result of the most recent tax sale. We've waited that period of time. That's getting filed. Uh, if it has not been filed, it's being filed this week. All the quiet title actions to kind of double, double bootstrap them so that they'll be available for the land bank to sell. And again, that is our, my understanding, that's one of our obligations is to move these properties back into tax base. Um, and um, one of the things that, that we've spoken with, and again, I appreciate the impact of, of, of the people uh, that I get an opportunity to work with is that, um, we keep things moving as quickly as possible. So I've reached out to um, the county solicitor and also the solicitor for the Tax Claim Bureau uh, for a lunch meeting because what we're running into is when we have a delay where it's into the, in, titled in the land bank, there's been a delay in removing liens of record so that we can get it into a third party. And there's a whole procedure or, or, or protocol to follow that I think that if we work together with Aaron and Mindy that, that we can streamline that so when it's coming out of the condemnation action, we've extinguished those back taxes and, and the municipal, municipal liens as well. But it takes what I'm perceiving and I think probably frustrating for other people is that it takes a really long period of time for them to come off of the record at the courthouse so that this third party when they're doing a title search they're seeing my condemnation action but they're going gene the delinquent taxes and municipal liens are still on there so it's difficult for us to say yeah yeah let's transfer it anyways so we're looking to meet this week hopefully on Thursday with those solicitors to say hey, here's the procedure and the protocol. How can we make sure that at the end of the condemnation action that those requests are going there for them to expedite it so within 30 to 60 days, the land bank can then get them to the third party. So we're working to do that because now it's taking months um, and it's, it's really only a priority when you have that third party buyer. I'm thinking, we, we should just do it irregardless. Just uh, if it's coming into the land bank, we know that eventually it's going to be proposed to a third party. Let's, let's do it right now so that when we get to that point where we actually secure that third party buyer, that it's already taken place, we can turn this around and get it done in short order. So that's in process to, to, um, to get done. Um, and again, what I, what I did was I, I just a couple, a couple of the title searches that are follow-ups. You know, there's still, the liens are still of record, although the condemnation legally has removed them, but they're still over there, which causes concerns to third party. And, and 
really uncomfortable for me in my office as well, saying, yeah, we know that there's these liens, but let's go ahead and, and do the transaction. We'll, we'll make sure that it's cleared up down the road. That's not necessarily best practices. So, so that's why we're going to get together, hopefully this Thursday at lunch, depending upon everybody's schedule, uh, to meet with them and see if we can do to make that a really quick transition. So that's really kind of what, kind of what I had um, as far as what we're doing and keeping this forward. Well, that, that makes perfect sense, and now I wonder why we didn't. Uh, it's one of those things we discover along the way, I yeah. guess, and just and, tightening and, and, it up. And, and Chairman, it, it really, it really ha it has been. Like, okay, yeah. as we get more and more and deeper into these things, yeah. okay, more, we're tidying, more active. We're tidying yeah. up things as, as we're going through it. So, because yeah. I really kind of feel like we're, we're on the cutting edge. We're, there, there's not a lot of municipalities out there that are doing what we're doing at the scale that we're doing. So, um, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, as you say, it was, it was a lot easier when it was five or six properties a year, but at, at the volume yeah. we're doing now, it's, it's causing a lot of problems. So, yeah. and a lot, of, a lot of staff time to, to follow up with all of this on, on our end and on, on Gene's yeah. side. A lot of frustration. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there, 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 there is, and it's taking a, an, you know, a lot of time on both ends, you've got you've got a potential buyer who wants it, and you want to get it to them. But uh, yeah. okay, we haven't circled back on this issue for three months. Now we're behind, and it's going to take. We know it's going to take another thirty to sixty days to clarify that. So there's frustration levels, and and we want to keep that going. So that's why okay. I appreciate the opportunity for uh, Aaron and Minnie to reach out to me, going, "Hey, Gene, we've got some bottlenecks here. What can we do to rectify it?" Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's. Let, let me get to the sources because what also I think we were finding is maybe there are some row offices that are given a little bit of pushback. It's not a priority for them. They're not, mm -hmm. you know, they're not accustomed to what we're doing and having to turn it around. And, and they're, you know, now there's getting pushback. I'm going, okay, we're going to, let's go right to the solicitor for, let's go to the, uh, county and let's go right to the head of the tax claim bureau and and we can address those more direct i, I just appreciate nothing i hate more than the answer like well that's always how it is so i don't oh, know yeah. i don't know why right. you know i mean right. so I, I just appreciate the initiative of like could this be solved mm -hmm. and then you know yeah, working right. forward i think that's exactly what we need to yeah. be doing so and that's thank you all and, and i we're running into that wait a second you know this is not how we run and i tell my staff too I said, don't tell me that. Gene, this is how we used to, wait a second. Yeah. It's a whole different world now, mm -hmm. time out. We're not doing that. We're not doing it the old way. That might not have been the best way to begin with. So let's expedite this so that we can turn around for this board to do what they're supposed to do and get these properties out to the, yeah. out to the uh, general public. 100% support that. I appreciate you looking into that. Um, and I've said many times with the economic development funds that, you know, Let's not forget about customer service. It's because it's a government entity. You know, we need to move at the speed of business. We need to move at the speed of buyers and sellers and not at the speed of how it was done historically. So anything along the way that you discover that you think we can improve on, we welcome that, and I'm pretty sure we're going to support it. So thank you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, if there were... We're, uh, if there's no other business, I don't believe there was, I think we're... No, no other business. Good. Motion uh, to adjourn. Motion to, Mr. Scalise, any comments, any questions? No, I, other than I won't be at the meeting next July, uh, so if there's um, work that you'd like me to do beforehand, I'll circle back there and make sure that my comments are available at July's meeting. Okay. Great. Very appreciate good. I appreciate it. you taking the time to log on. And with that, uh, we have a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. That's a wrap for today. Thank you.